upside down even you can see this side is that thin very brought out very much brought out like the stomach is full of gas this is a be kind to pass veterinary educational video how to aspirate gas from a guinea pig's bloated stomach and what causes bloated stomach first it can be due to wrong diet second too many greens fruits or calcium rich vegetable third not enough hay and lastly not enough exercises this uh, four-year-old male neutered guinea pig comes in with uh, what's the main problem Inactive. Inactive. Then some more. Then didn't eat much because they, usually overnight, right? He will finish up all his food. And inactive, lost appetite, now. Yeah. Okay, the pitons. Then uh, so, when I touch him, he seems to be trembling. Wafers. Mm. Trembling, huh? Mm. How about drinking? I don't think he drank much because uh, the water bottle still full. Drink water less. Water. Huh? One point one five. Yesterday he still one quite okay. Five. One point one five. They say it was okay only today, is it? Yeah, this is, morning. Is he living alone? No, uh, he's in his own Separate cage. Separate, Separate cage. cage. Yeah. Then how about the stools? Mm -hmm. The stools are stuck. Wait, you can hold first. Huh? Yeah, yeah. The stools are stuck in the back side? Yeah. But a lot of stools or no? no not Just a lot. A bit only less a bit. stools. So he couldn't pass out. Is it constipation? Stools are stuck, is it? Yeah. Only one stuck there. Like, yeah. Stuck one in it. Not okay, right? Most of them come out, right? The pellets. Yeah. How many are there on the tray overnight? 20? You know, the stool, the pellets. We didn't, we, count. We didn't count a lot. But you do is a lot. Uh, was it a lot? Um, didn't really, didn't really take, take, take notice. Take note this morning. Yeah, I only noticed that he's suddenly yeah, so still. Because usually yeah. when we go hmm. near it, right, it will run. So he has actually no appetite. Uh. Mm. Going some more bit first. Uh. And I check his nostril, it's mm. not wet. Mm -hmm. Unlike my the other one, Fluffy, who died, which died last year. That one? Uh. Mm. No, that one? No. That one died of. Uh, no. mm. It was very ill. Fluffy. Yeah. The black and white one. The uh, not eating and, and uh, rest. Respiratory tract infection uh. after respiratory tract. What temperature? 37.5. 37 37.5 is low. 37.5. 36. Yeah. 36.5 is low. 37.5 or 36? 37.5. 36, huh? Yeah, 36. 37.5. So if, if they have a, <coughs> a drop in body temperature, of course they will be uh, not eating lethargic. Is it now the stomach seems to be swollen? Do you notice? Do you notice the swelling? No, no. Okay. Because it's always very fat now. So hmm? cannot tell. No, this is abnormally swollen. Swollen? Hmm, abnormally swollen. What's wrong with him? It's quite painful as well. There's some pain. Not some pain. The abdominal palpation. <coughs> but I check the mouth first. See the colour. Colour is... It's not pink, it's a repopulation. Her tongue should be pinker. Should be more pink than this. Huh? The gums look pale. So the only thing I can see is that it's swollen here and there's pain. That there's pain. You can see the reaction. So the the, the first of all you need to x-ray. Oh? Ah, x-ray. Oh, I mean if you want to uh, mm -hmm. to find what causes this swelling. X-ray, where where do x-ray? No, we can x-ray for you. No, I mean I'm just talking about the test. Oh. The test involved. Huh? Definitely there's no uh, breathing problem. Huh? Check the heart first. Yeah. Heart is okay, lung is okay. Skinny pig is not fat, it's just that there is a, definitely a bigger distension here, you can see here. So I would say it's a gastric broke, but not a broke like that. Because normally the stomach is on the left side. And uh, so we need the x-ray to find what, what, what is it. That's what we guess. And then all some instruction, obstruction of the intestine. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there we know what to do. But 
but then I'll give the the, the drip and the painkillers. So uh we will see how it goes. So you need to stay overnight. Better. This is an X-ray showing the bloated stomach in the guinea pig and how to aspirate gas from it. First, clip the area disaffected. Use your thumb and four fingers, press against it, and you will hear an air sound. And insert a 23 mg needle with a 10 ml syringe to aspirate the gas. And lastly, squeeze the bird with thumb and four fingers to disinflate the stomach. Bubbles in the abdomen indicate the intestine had lost blood supplies and leak gas into the abdomen. All in all, Clostridia bacteria in the hay could be the Friday, cause of the bloatedness in the guinea pig. Contaminated hay are commonly filled with Clostridia bacteria.